Hello, this is Thomas at Mon SPY, and today we have nine beautiful SDRs here. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to be testing their power consumption. Just about everyone has an SDR. They're in pretty much every shack, and we love using them. But there's one question that I've always had. When you plug them in, do they consume that tiny amount of power, or are they energy hogs? And today, I'll be answering that. So I'm just going to do a quick explanation of each of these from left to right. The first one here is the Perseus, and it's the golden standard of high-quality SDRs. It's been around for years now, but even today it measures up with pretty much every other SDR on shortwave. Next to them, we have these two SDR Play SDRs. SDR Play are really cheap and affordable and really good SDRs. They are what made SDRs really popular. Next, we have the Air Spies, the HF Plus over here, and the Discovery over there. Next, we have an RTL SDR version 3. It's only $20, so it's really cheap and affordable, and can run many experiments for any electronics enthusiasts out there. Next, we have a dongle that's specific to the United States. It receives TV. Now, here we don't follow the open TTV guidelines, so we need a special receiver that receives TV signals. This is uh, a new version of the RTL SDR, and it's specifically narrowed to... Receive ADSB and track airplanes. And finally, this very little version of an RTL SCR. And lastly, we have this power tester that will help me test how much power these SDRs are putting through. Now, it measures volts, amps, what have you, and is really small and compact and very useful for this experiment. I'm really excited to get started, and I can't wait, so I'm going to go ahead and test these really quick. So I've just plugged into the, I've just plugged in the Perseus, and um, now you can see the, the results of the power test, and I noticed something interesting. There's no amp output, and that's because the Perseus has its own power supply, so no power is being consumed.
So here's a neat little chart of my findings. They were, everything was tested using a USB, which normalizes around five volts. And then I measured the milliamps at rest and at work. As you can see, the Perseus has zero for both because it has an external or an internal power supply that doesn't need to be powered, so it powers itself. Anyways, uh, also during the during the tests, I changed the software, but that has little to no effect on the um, working power that it takes. And I also changed the bandwidth a little bit, but that also has a very minor effect. All tests were done using Windows, except for the FlightAware dongle, which uh, was used on a Raspberry Pi. And um, judging by the findings, for extended battery use and for USB-powered use, the RSP... The RSP SDRs seem to have the best endurance, and you would probably want to use them for such activities. Alright, once again I want to say that SDR receivers are just wonderful pieces of, 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 of equipment, and work really nicely, and are just so much fun to use and great for experiments, as you can see. So with that final message, I'll be signing off. So this has been N1SPY73.